Hello, it is Mady Max, and today I've got a video that I thought I had to make due to the situation and how it could really just affect all Minecraft players. If you didn't already know, a lot of Minecraft related stuff news was announced at E3. At first glance, it may look like good news, like they've got cross platform play, super duper graphics, in game servers. It really just looks cool. Good news. Great, right? Well, I mean. If you look deeper, it appears that it's really just Microsoft's plan to make more money from DLC. And I'll pretty much just explain that in this video. So, right now I'm on Minecraft.net looking at the article. All the news from E3. This first area here just summarizes it up. But anyways, what scares me is the next bit here. The Better Together update. Now it's fine at first. Alright, so yeah, we're gonna combine Xbox, Switch, Pocket, VR, all that stuff into one version. But here's the scary part. So, it will simply be known as Minecraft, a separate entity from Minecraft Java Edition, which is the original PC game that will continue to support, of course. This means one thing. The other version, the cross-play connected version, is becoming the new main version while Java Edition is becoming the smaller, lesser known side version. This scenario is very similar, in my opinion, to when Pocket Edition was first released. I remember playing Pocket Edition for the first time when it was still in alpha and thinking, wow, this is really great, but it's never going to be as good as Minecraft PC. It's like a nice little experimental pocket portable thing. From that point on, Pocket Edition seemed to be a testing version. They were adding weird things like stone cutters and nether reactors, and those never made it into the Java Edition, so it was like a nice little side happy version thing. But now it appears that the Java Edition is going to become the side version like Pocket Edition once was. Especially since they, you know, set it second here. Like, this is Minecraft, this is Minecraft Java Edition, like Minecraft and Minecraft Story Mode. It's a side game, basically. It's not as big as Minecraft Minecraft Story Mode, but you know what I mean. This is further proven through a video where Log.zip spoke with Jeb at E3. When asked about the future of the Java Edition, Jeb said that in a few years the Java Edition would become a Community Edition. What I think this means is that eventually, Microsoft plans to abandon the Java Edition and put their focus on the Unified version. Now, from their point of view, this makes complete sense. The other version mainly consists of the stereotypical 8-year-old who just wants to punch their friend into lava, whether they're on Xbox, Switch, mobile, whatever, they just want to punch their friends in lava. But these younger audiences, like 5 to 9-year-olds is my guess, that's, yeah, that's pretty fair. They're more, at, they're more likely to ask for their parents' credit card to get some Minecraft coins than like a hardcore PvP or on Badline or Hypixel or something. Hardcore, tryhard, you know, everyone knows those people. So my guess is that basically after 1.13, 1.14, maybe 1.15 if we're lucky, is that they plan to give up on Java Edition and just let it be a community edition where people could just map, mod, do whatever they want. Now, if you still don't believe me, look at the things they've added lately in this Java edition. We've got resource packs and command blocks becoming better than ever. We've got the new types of command blocks, which I believe were added in 1.10. Resource packs can do a lot more with sound and everything from texture packs. And then now we've got all these functions. We're going to have data packs soon. We've got advancements, custom loot tables, custom models I believe you can do now. Basically, Minecraft is becoming fully customizable. This seems like a perfect formula for a community edition of the game, because, you know, people can do whatever you want. So, in the future, my prediction is that Java Edition will most likely become a fan-governed community in the years to come. Now, let's look back at what is going to be known as the main version of Minecraft, the, the unified version. At E3, the Super Duper Graphics Pack, aka DLC Shaders, was announced. Also, they plan to add a server browser on the main menu. Alright, cool. This is going to have Mineplex, Lifeboat, in PvP, and Cubecraft. Notice how Hypixel, one of the biggest Minecraft servers ever, isn't there. I'll come back to that later. Anyways, in a short time, the unified version of Minecraft will have everything that is free on the Java edition as DLC. For example, maps, texture packs, skins, all this stuff, all of it is going to be DLC purchased with Minecraft coins. Cool. No, not cool. 
Everything will be purchasable, skins, resource packs, mods, maps, shaders, and possibly even server ranks. Knowing Microsoft and their tendency to make everything DLC, I'm guessing that they will use the four servers they have partnered with to sell in server ranks to players and take a pretty large portion of that money. But if this was the plan that Microsoft had, why isn't Hypixel joining them? Hypixel is a much more popular server than the rest of those. My guess is that Hypixel doesn't seem like it would fit well with consoles and mobile devices. A lot of their games, or their popular games like Skywars and Bedwars, are... Well, they have a lot of tryhards and they're a lot more PvP oriented. And as a player of Pocket Edition for at least some time a few years ago, PvP is a bit hard on there. Also, my guess is that all of these servers will update to the newer versions, which means they won't be able to have 1.8 PvP which Hypixel basically survives on for a lot of their popular games, like Skywars and Bedwars. However, I'm not really entirely sure about why Hypixel isn't there, so if you've got any ideas, be sure to leave them in the comments down below. So, it seems that in the next few years, the Java edition of Minecraft will become complete, finished, and the Unified version will become the main version, which will continue to get updates. I'm honestly not that mad about that part. This means that in the Java edition, map makers, modders, and everyone can go crazy. Maybe even organize together to add stuff people actually want. Like bringing back 1.8 PvP. So, that doesn't seem that bad. The thing that I'm mad about, really, is the unified version. Everything's going to be DLC. It's just a cash grab from an extremely rich company that just wants more money. Microsoft. Minecraft was supposed to be a game where people could create and build whatever they want without restrictions. Now it's just going to become a cash grab DLC thing from Microsoft. I would list possible solutions, but it really is just pointless, since in the real world people just care about money. Anyways, that's going to be the end of the video there. I know it wasn't the best news and I usually don't do this type of video, but if it was half decent, be sure to tell me because I don't really know if this was half decent. I might just look like an idiot. So um, yeah, be sure to tell me about that in the comments. Also, leave a comment about your opinion on this because I really don't know. There's a very high chance that I was wrong about everything I said. And I'm the type of person that is open to being corrected unless it's something I know I'm right. But I'm pretty sure I'm wrong about this. But if I'm right, that would be bad. I want to be wrong because this, this isn't very good. But anyways, yeah, just leave some comments about stuff relating to this. And anyways, I'll see you all next time.